Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shannon. Of course, if you have not been here before, welcome. If you have been here before, welcome back. You guys know what is up with that. Um, so in today's video, we're going to be playing with the new Charlotte Tilbury Instant Eyes Bejeweled Eyes to Hypnotize Holiday Palette. So this palette right here, really pretty. I have played with this before. I did a look at my last video, but that's what the palette looks like. But anyways, we're just going to put this on my eyes, play with it. I'll tell you my thoughts on it if I think it's worth the high price tag. This is the first Charlotte Tilbury palette I've ever tried. So there's that. But if you guys are interested in seeing me try this out, then just keep watching. Right, guys. So I zoomed the camera in a little bit just so you could see what I'm going to be doing on my eyes. Like I said, we're going to be playing with this Charlotte Tilbury palette. The packaging is really, really pretty, by the way. It's not like a hefty, heavy palette, though, but it is really pretty. I do like it. I like the Charlotte Tilbury aesthetic, if that makes any sense. It's very, like, bougie luxury. Um, I did get this as a treat to myself because I've never tried her brand, and I wanted to try it for you guys to let you know if it was any good. Does that make any sense? Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that today. I'm excited. I have tried this once before, and it is a, it was a nice palette. I used mostly the browns and then a couple of the shades here and it worked really well but that's what we're going to do today also before you come for me yes i'm sitting on my bed and it's unmade but here here's the story guys i have a baby and my dogs like to get up on this bed so i keep one section messy so they can lay on this so i can wash it and then i keep one section that the dogs can't get on so the baby can roll around and not be covered in fur so we're leaving this back here unmade whether you like it or not it's going to be there for the whole video so deal with it so that's my blurb deal with it let's move on let's try out this freaking eyeshadow palette all right so i'm gonna go in what brushes did i even freaking bring out probably not even any of the brushes that i want um i'm gonna use this what is this called the sl miss glam s557 blender this guy right here it's really pretty um i'm going to take my little AOA kind of quick cleaning brush spongy thing just to give this a little clean off in case I have anything on it. And I'm going to put this hair back and I think I'm going to go in with this eye first. And I kind of want to play in, I think I'm going to go in with this purple, which is kind of like a sheeny color, but I kind of want a purple eye. So I'm going to go in with that one. So I'm just going to see if I can pick up a little bit of that on my brush. Okay, so it has a little bit there. And I did go ahead and put on, I have the Urban Decay Primer Potion on. That's already on my lid. So I do have a nice tacky base. So we'll go ahead and we're just going to build that color up. Hopefully my lighting's okay. I'm sitting like pretty much in front of two great big windows. So it should be fairly decent. And I have my baby monitor like right beside me so that I can see if baby boy Dale wakes up. By the way, he is like six months old tomorrow, which is so devastating to me. Um, not devastating, but just like it's so weird to think of him as almost a year old, like half a year old. Um, I don't feel like I've been off that long from work even, let alone long enough to have a baby and raise him for six months. So it's pretty wild, um, but, you know, time goes fast. Um, and if you guys don't know, I've had kind of a rough, honestly, maternity leave. Like, of course, I was pregnant during a pandemic. I had my baby during a pandemic. Um, and then on August, I believe it was the 20th, I did lose my home to a fire, which I've talked about a bit and you've seen on my Instagram. Um, it's probably the worst thing that has ever happened to me like it's like a nightmare like something you never think is going to happen and we're still kind of waiting on insurance because we didn't get the most expensive insurance I think we had probably one of the least expensive you know it's a thing that like I said you never think it's going to happen to you so you don't really worry about it you just get the insurance so you could buy the house we bought the house like in December we've only been in it for like I said since January so it's just so sad. We still don't really know what caused it. We're thinking though that it was a, or they're thinking as well that it was a extension cord plugged into a cheap charger that we bought off Amazon. So maybe don't buy cheap chargers or don't plug them into a shed outside, but that's what they're thinking that it is, which uh, now looking back on it, I'm like, oh, uh, and we really wish like we had have noticed it, but you can't, you can't wish those things because 
it doesn't matter. It happened. It happened the way it was going to happen. Um, we've been very lucky. People have been amazing and like helping us out. So thank you to everyone that has helped us out. Cause honestly, we wouldn't have been able to get by if not currently we're renting the house that I'm filming in right now. Um, and insurance is taking care of it for the next couple months. And hopefully I'll know more at some point, but right now I don't know a lot. And for anyone who says I shouldn't spend money on makeup, I've always spent money on makeup. Um, I have been trying not to spend as much, but I lost my whole collection. So I have spent money on makeup to try to like rebuild it. Makeup is like so important to me guys. So not having it in my life was like difficult, which I know is stupid, but for me, it's not stupid. For me, it's like part of who I am. I like reviewing things for you guys. I like trying things and letting you know if they're good or whether they're worth your money. So if you're going to come for me for that, just don't just unsubscribe or like go somewhere. But, <laughs> but yeah, that that's just the way it is. That's how I am. And it was something that meant a lot to me. So I have repurchased some things and this was a treat to myself. So yeah. Um, so that's what that shade looks like. Really pretty actually. And this is kind of more of a sheeny shade. Like you could put this all over the lid, but it is really pretty. I'm going to go ahead and do this other side off camera because I'm talking a lot and then we'll come back and like, we're going to do all this eye on camera. All right. So I went ahead and finished up that eye off camera. So that's what that's looking like. These are like super freaking pigmented. I'm probably going to blend this more, but I just wanted to get it right there. But these are nice and pigmented. Like I found this with using some of the shades already that this is like a pigmented palette. So I'm excited about that because this is a pricey guy, but I think that looks nice. What do you guys think? What direction do I want to go next? I think I kind of want to use that shade right there. Um, what do I want to put that on? All right, so I'm going to go in with this shade. Like I mentioned, I'm going to go in with the Juno ES7. So I'm going to see if that picks up product pretty good. Oh yeah, it does. So it definitely picks up product. And I'm going to put this right here. And I'll try to like come in a little bit. Ooh, that's pretty. It goes really nice with that purple shade too. I kind of just want to use this right here and then I'm going to put a lighter shade on that inner portion. Now they, a lot of these, this is like a more metallic shimmer heavy palette. So if you don't like that, I wouldn't go for this, but how pretty is that? I think that's really pretty actually. I'm going to go ahead and give that a little cleaning. This is just like a cheap AOA um, from Shop Miss Hay brush cleaner. It's really tiny though, but like it does the job. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, and then I'm going to go in, I think, I think I'm going to actually go in with the shade right here. That's right in this quadrant. So I'm kind of sticking to that quadrant. And I'm going to take that same Juno brush because that picked up product really well. And I got a little bit right there. I'm going to go in this inner part. I feel like this one is more of a sparkly shade, but it is showing up. I'm gonna wet this and then I'm gonna try that too. All right. I'm gonna try that with my finger. Oh yeah. Okay, so going with your finger does really nice on that shade. I'm just giving it a little bit of wetness. You don't need it, but it's more of like a topper shade in my opinion for that one. I'm going to put a little bit more of this shade right here, that kind of red shade. So I'm going to put a little bit more of that there. Okay, so that's how that is looking. So I just went ahead and added like a little bit more of that kind of like red shade in there. And we're going to go in and do this side. Same thing. I'm going to add a little bit more. And then I'm going to go with my finger on that lighter kind of peachy pink shade. That's definitely the way to go, though, with that shade. Just to kind of throw that in there. Ooh, like look how pretty that is. I'm just going to go like this. So bring that in a little bit. I'm going to kind of blend that in. And I almost kind of want to take, let me see, 
Yeah, this one's similar, but it's a little bit more of a deeper kind of peachy, corally shade. It's pretty though. But I'm like, do I want to use any more of these? <laughs> no, I think that's it. I wish she had like one like lighter kind of shade that you could put more in the inner corners. There's not really a super light shade in this palette to put in the inner corners. So that's kind of a bummer. I'm not sure why we don't have that. Um, let's go ahead. I'm going to take... I'm going to take this shade, even though I think it's a little bit darker with my finger and just like pop it in here. Ooh, that's pretty. It's like a peachy shade. Yeah, that's pretty. It's kind of like a peachy coppery shade. Very Charlotte Tilbury-esque. I got that down under my eyes, but that's okay. I got that under my eyes, but we're going to go ahead. I'm going to clean this up anyway, because I have obviously haven't put any kind of base on, but that's how that is looking. What do you guys think? It's super pretty. Like, it definitely has, I feel like the purple there, like, it's not coming off on camera as purpley, but it definitely has, like, a plum kind of brown tinge to it. It's really pretty. And that inner corner is beautiful. What do you guys think? That's kind of the look. I'm going to go ahead and take go back in with that s miss glam one and just kind of like soften out these edges a little bit just gonna kind of fluff that there we got that blended a little bit better Ooh, I think that's pretty. I think that's really pretty. Really, really pretty. All right. I'm going to put this a little bit more in here. So I feel like I have the side blended a little differently. There we go. I think that looks better. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and actually do my base and everything. And then we'll come back and you can see like the finished eye look. All right, guys. So I am back with my finished look. I have Dale with me. Um, yeah. So this is the finished look with the palette. I'll just kind of bend down for you guys. I tried to get in better lighting so you could see the eye look. I just went ahead and added some liner and some liner to the um, waterline. It's just the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Retractable Eyeliner. Really inexpensive at the drugstore. I did go ahead and add this red shade down here to the lower lash line. You can see that here. Super pigmented shadows in this, like go in with a light hand. Um, I will say for $95 Canadian, it's a little pricey, but if you are looking to get something boozy, bougie and luxurious or try something from Charlotte Tilbury, this is a good one. I do like it. I'm impressed. I'm kind of curious if the four pan palettes are as good, but I do like this. I would recommend it, but you can get more inexpensive options obviously and that perform pretty good but this does perform really well you could see it blended really easily but yeah guys if you like the video give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and bell notification you guys know i'm not the most freaking uploader i'll tell you in every video but i love you guys i gotta go tend to this guy but i will see you in the next one bye guys